What's happening today? <laughs> Good morning. Signs of life. Rescuers dig by hand through the rubble of that massive earthquake in South Asia looking for survivors. Tens of thousands are dead. Over the line, three New Orleans police officers under arrest after a beating caught on tape. And potty training starting at three months. More and more parents are trying it, but is it really a good idea? We'll flush it out today, Monday, October 10th, 2005. From NBC News, this is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And welcome to Today on this Monday morning, everyone. I'm Katie Couric here with my friend Matt, who's back on vacation. Nice to have you back. Good to be back. I'm happy to be here. But this is a horrific story out of South Asia. Just listen to the numbers here. As many as 30,000 people may be dead after Saturday's monster 7.6 earthquake. Most of the victims are in Pakistan. More than 2.5 million people are said to be homeless. And rescuers are still trying to help the survivors, some of them buried in the rubble. We're going to go live to Pakistan for the latest on this earthquake coming up in just a couple of minutes. And then, Matt, a potential worldwide disaster, one that could kill millions in this country alone. Scientists are calling the bird flu or the avian flu the world's biggest health threat. And the U.S. government's top health official made some chilling comments about it today. Coming up, we'll ask, is the government ready for a global outbreak or pandemic. We're also going to talk about SIDS. It is a mysterious condition that kills about 2,500 babies every year. This morning, we're going to tell you about some new guidelines for parents, important information. And then did you see this picture, Katie, on the cover of the New York Times? I did. That is a six-month-old baby sitting on the potty. So the question is, how young is too young to potty train? More and more parents are actually trying to do away with diapers before their kids can walk. Some people say it's a bad idea. We're going to get into a debate. And since I have a two-year-old daughter, this is a real important debate in my household. And she's not potty trained? What's taking you so long? We're slackers, apparently. <laughs> no question. Anyway, it is an interesting story, and it's crazy to see these teeny babies. Anyway, whatever. Also, can a nine-year-old accomplish something the nation's most hardened criminals never did? We're going to meet the boy who's trying to make history by swimming from Alcatraz to shore today across San Francisco Bay. All right, but first, the frantic hunt for survivors of that massive quake in South Asia. NBC's Ned Colt is in Islamabad, Pakistan with more. Ned, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. You mentioned those figures, the figure of 30,000 uh, just a moment ago. Every day now, those uh, numbers are continuing to rise, and still many of the hardest hit in